And ladies and gentlemen, we are motherfucking live on a Monday night this time. It is midnight. This is a late night edition, so kids, take your asses to bed because you're going to hear a lot of uh, explicit content. Yeah, late night on the hot tag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Late night on the hot tag. Dig it. Yeah. 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 That's how we're going to do it here. Or Ultimate Beef referred to it as, what was it, Hot Tagging That Ass Podcast. Yeah, Hot Tagging the Motherfucking Ass, man. That's nice. If, if if we ever get huge and we have, like, like a podcast groupies, then we can hot tag. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. Do you think there is such thing as, like, hot tag groupies? I mean, not, not necessarily hot tag, just podcast groupies, period. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Whose podcast would have would have groupies, and they're not famous, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm like, yeah. I mean, the famous people, the famous podcasts, you know. Ah, uh, well, I'm talking about. Uh, it could be a famous podcast, just not necessarily a famous person, you know, having prior fame to doing the podcast, as in like a celebrity. I mean, there's any normal people with just 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 a normal ass dude behind a computer that's a podcaster that that's getting vagina off of being a podcaster. Is this is this something that's going on in the world? I need to know. I'm sure it is. Trust me, dude. There's freaks out there for everybody. All right, I trust you. I uh, well, don't trust me. Trust uh, trust the internet. <laughs> well, with the internet, you can stalk people so easily. So hell, I'm sure that's what's going on. Yeah. All right. Great start. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fucking love it, man. I podcast groupies. I'm. I, I guarantee there are. That's there good. has. Let's let's uh let's get some groupies. There ha we need some groupies. That's exactly what we need. We do absolutely. And I want like eighty fuck it groupies. Just you know, big hair and slutty, like Jersey groupies. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. All right, man, I'm kidding. I, I think if you live closer to Jersey, you would probably uh hate Jersey more. I, I think you have a little fascination with Jersey. I don't know what's going on with you, man. Oh, dude, I've been there before. Trust me, I've been to the uh, what's that? The uh, Jay and Silent Kevin Smith's uh, little uh, what you call it? Comic book shop there. No, oh, okay. I've, I I've been to Jersey once or twice, and uh, no, I. Don't care for it. I mean, even I was even by the ocean and fuck that, man. Oh, the ocean in the winter is like the most depressing thing in the world. Yeah, it's it's kind of like uh being on the edge of suicide. Yeah, because you can't go fishing. I mean, you can, but who wants to freeze their ass off? Yeah. I Spitting facts. Yeah, I won't. I, I won't hawk a loogie. We seem to lose listeners when I do that. Yeah. Well, we seem to lose listeners when I talk about Chris Benoit. Yeah, um, or Cena. Or, but yeah. you're gonna get into Cena tonight. Well, I'm sure I will. Oh, I'm sure you will. I am sure I will. <laughs> sure I will. Uh. Speaking of Jersey, man, Jersey's like bad luck for me. I know this is kind of off topic, but uh, yeah, right when I turned 21, we went to Atlantic City, and I uh, completely got blacked out drunk, and uh, drank a whole bottle of Patron to myself, and I got lost, uh, lost all my friends that night, so imagine a, a drunk Shaheen, a drunk, uh, really young Shaheen at that. Walking around with a bottle of Patron throughout Atlantic City by himself for about 14 hours. And, uh, yeah, that was a hell of an adventure from what I remember. Nice. Now, when you say lost your friends, do you mean, like, you couldn't find them? Or yeah, were, like, I kind of, uh, yeah. I, 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 if they were like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> no, no, I got, I got, I think I got drunk and I went to, you know, pee somewhere or do something or, you know, chase a piece of ass or something and... One thing led to another, and before I know it, I'm somewhere else, and 
I have no phone on me. My phone is dead. I think I might have lost it that day. I don't remember what happened. It's years ago. But I just remember, uh, last thing I remember was being morning and me being at a police station. And, uh, yeah, they claimed that I stole some little girl's bike. So I, I had, like, uh, I was riding around throughout Atlantic City with a bottle of Patron on a little girl's bike with pink ribbons hanging off of it. So great image for you guys. That's exactly the bike I have pictured with a banana seat. Yep. There you yep. go. <laughs> That's exactly yep. what I had pictured in my mind when you're telling the story. You know, you know girls with pink ribbons love the banana seats. Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So. I can see Shaheen riding around that thing. Oh, God. Through the streets of Jersey, probably dodging cars. Uh yeah, I think I was lost in a residential area. It was more near. No, yeah, what? I actually I got I got lost in Atlantic City and I ended up in uh I think it was called Long Longford, New Jersey. Is that I don't know something like that? Long something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, well I know because I had to pay him twelve hundred dollars in fines. <laughs> it made me pay twelve hundred dollars for peeing outside. Not crazy. Well, that. <laughs> Honestly, you're probably lucky because if it was now, you'd get like have to be like a sexual a, a sex offender and shit. Why? I mean, dogs pee outside. Why can't I? Sir, you are not a dog. I don't give a shit. We're both living things. Sir, sir, do you lick your balls, sir? Man, they might. I would just say yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. What? You don't. <laughs> Sir, if I could, I would not be an officer of the law. <laughs> <laughs> I would be in porn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Who? Anyway, I might have had a few before I came here tonight, but that's fine. I, I like doing a midnight man. I'm like all like energetic and shit. Maybe it's because I was asleep. I don't know. That could be it. That could be it. That, that could definitely be be part of the part of the problem or part of the solution. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Well, hell. I guess we'll talk some wrestling. <laughs> Fuck it, man. We can just sit here and tell stories all night. I could I could go through. I could tell you a shitload of fucking stories about parties and oh, wrestling. I remember most of them. Yeah. Like, you know, but uh, none of mine end with a police station. Except one. I have one that ends with my parents coming to take me out of handcuffs. Oh, was, I, have, I have plenty of uh, handcuff stories when I was a teenager. Yeah, I mean, I have handcuffs, but I, I've only got one story about that, that I could probably get away with not being screamed at by my girlfriend. So <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell many. So You'd like to share, man. We are here. Uh, we should probably get into some wrestling right about now. <laughs> All right, then. Hey, hey. Fuck it. Right. I guess let's talk about the biggest news, right? Let's talk about the big pink elephant sitting in the room, staring in our face. Yeah. The man, CM Punk, joins Ultimate Fighting Championship, says he's going to be in the Octagon 2015. Watch out, people. What do you think? I just like to say uh, rest in peace, CM Punk. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, nope. I don't know, dude. I, I, I wish him the best. I mean, he, then again, you know, fighting doesn't really matter with size. I just, I don't know, man. But then again, Punk seems like the type of guy that's really dedicated mm -hmm. to whatever task he's, he's doing. So, I... I'm guessing he's probably been training really hard. I know he was doing uh, jiu-jitsu or whatever, and I don't know, man. I, I wish him well. I'll certainly watch it, but uh, I'm not a big UFC guy, so I don't know. Well, I mean, UFC, you know, they have weight classes. He's going to do either one. I guess he said he was going to – he had a conference after that I actually listened to. Um, he said he was going to – do 185, see what he's like there. If not, maybe drop to 170. He might try the weight cut. So 70. They have UFC fighters that are 170. Yeah, man. One, yeah. 
dude, UFC's got all kinds of weight classes, man. I mean, they got women fighting, so why not have different weight classes like that? 170? Pretty, yeah. Man, 170, you should not be a fighter. That's like a... Dude. Soaking wet 170, man. That is a a fucking... Those fights are more scrappy than the fucking heavyweights, dude. Honestly. Man, I just, I don't know. I'm, 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 I've watched many, uh, many a UFCs. Those, those little guys. It's just like in boxing. The little guys throw harder and faster, and the action looks better. It's the same in UFC. Those little fucking guys, man. They're so fast and quick, and they wrap each other up, and it's fucking, it's, it, it's nice, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of it. You know, I don't know, man. I mean, Punk, I. I don't know how much experience he's got in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. They're not going to put him in there with some fucking murderer, you know. And it's not. I mean, they're, they're not going to put him in there with some killer who's going to take well, him. It's it's a business, man. Of course, they're going to start out, you know, feeding you know uh, sm- uh, weak guys to him because you know essentially this is a business. So if he loses his first match, that's bad business right there. Exactly what he said when everyone was like, you know, why wouldn't you, you know, kind of wet your feet somewhere else? And you know, he said this is a business. You know, when it comes down to it, just like anything else, this is a business, and the big money is in my first fight. Right. And Dana knows that, and he's right, dude. It is. So yeah. whether or not he gets his ass kicked or not, I'm buying that pay-per-view. What about you? Uh, Dude, I'll buy it. This is going to be my first UFC pay-per-view that I actually buy, so. Yeah, exactly. Dana White, you finally got my money, you son of a bitch. Absolutely, man. I mean, I never wanted to pay you. Now you had to go ahead and get goddamn CM Punk. Motherfucker. Truthfully, the last, I mean, the last time I really thought that anyone else could do this was when Brock went over to UFC, and it was this kind of almost this big of a bang. But, I mean, this isn't a guy who has collegiate wrestling experience this is CM Punk who has pro wrestling experience and like I said I don't know how much Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or martial arts I think he has some Kempo but I don't know man I mean it only takes one punch it takes one punch and he could get lucky the other guy could get lucky you know one punch one well placed kick and that's it night night that is true. That is true, man. Then you're just trying to, you know, get up and be like, I didn't hear no bell. I didn't hear no bell. Yo, I didn't hear no bell. That's, that's going to be CM Punk for you. Yeah, maybe not. I don't I know. Not, no, I, not though, man. I, I wish him well. I, you know, I don't want to come off like a, one of those fucking marks. Oh, he's going to get his ass kicked. He's, you know, I don't know, man. Who knows? I can't judge the man. No, no, but uh, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm definitely gonna watch. I buy this. Is this surprising to you? Is it surprise? I mean, we've always known he had interest in in, in oh. being an ultimate fighter, but just well, the fact that there's a demand for him by uh, Dana White does that surprise you? No, Dana White is. Very smart, obviously. I mean, look what he's done with UFC. And right. if he sees money, he's going to go for it. And he's right. The first fight for CM Punk is going to draw a lot of money. Now, I just posted something online <laughs> on Facebook. Okay. Uh, did you see that by any chance on the Facebook? Uh, Facebook not. Slash group slash THT podcast. There you go. Um. <laughs> um, hold on one second. Where is it here? Taz speculates that the WWE was involved with the CM Punk <laughs> and the and the and the the uh, announcement and all this good stuff. Well, Taz is a fucking idiot. So wait a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna pull this up real quick because I don't want to misquote what this article says. Again, the article from our usual Wrestling Inc. There you go, Mike Bessler. Yeah, I don't know why I like giving them plugs. It's just something nice to do because I use them a lot. So well, well, better than giving fucking uh, you know 
That was posted, let's see, posted audio above talking about CM Punk signing with the UFC. Should be noted this is not the first episode of his new podcast, Human Podcast Machine, which drops on January 7th. During the podcast, has talks about timing with CM Punk's shoot interview with Colt Cabana, Vince McMahon appearing on Steve Austin's podcast, and UFC announcing that they signed CM Punk. Taz speculates that given the timeline, perhaps WWE was involved with the UFC announcement. Yeah, Taz is an idiot, man. I, there I mean, you how, go. How Great. stupid of a comment is this, honestly? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, WWE, yeah, WWE likes to lose money. They, yep, that's, you got it, Taz. I, I love me a good uh, conspiracy theory on this one. <laughs> I wouldn't even call this a conspiracy theory. This is just an idiotic statement. This is not even a theory. This is just a, a lie. I mean, why? Uh, I don't know. Man, I would say it's not even worth me wasting my breath to, to comment on Taz. Guy's a fucking idiot, man. I mean, look look at him. Look at his announcing. He's just, I don't know. Man. Taz is one of those guys that I have done a 360 on. Literally, like, the guy just fucking sucks. And I used to be a big fan, and I just... Dude, if I see him at one of these shows, I wouldn't even bother to walk past the guy. I mean, the guy just sucks. Yeah, I was actually a big Taz fan back in the EC dub days myself. Damn, to be honest with you. dude, he was a badass. He seemed like yeah. he was a fucking tough guy. Now you look at him, you're like, oh, my God. Yep. I, I feel bad for this guy's kid that you have to live with this fucking guy all day. He's a shell. He's a shell of what he was. But um, What is Taz? I've always wondered this. His, his ethnicity. I have no clue. Does he just tan a lot? I don't know. I guess he could be Italian. That's what I think he is. I, I don't think he. I don't think he's bi, like you know biracial or anything. If, if, I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm I, I'm not sure. If, uh, I don't know. I guess he could be Italian or some. I, I guess. I mean, he. Hey, Joey Nembus. I don't know. Was he supposed to be a, a a black dude in the ECW? No, he was just supposed to be a badass. Oh, come on now. We don't have to be politically correct. You know, I don't want to be black. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. I, I really don't know. I, re oh, I, I honestly have no clue. You'd have to ask fucking Heyman or him that. Probably Heyman because he... Taz probably wouldn't know. I don't know, man. I was just told I'll go out there and wreck people. <laughs> All right. Well, give me give me a couple of minutes. I'll call Paul Heyman and I can confirm this. There you go. Call uh call Paulie. Yeah. Me meanwhile, I can ask him about the whole uh, CM Punk and the UFC thing, and we can confirm if, if Taz is indeed correct on his uh, you know, very intelligent conspiracy theory. So. That's awesome. Have <laughs> Paul Heyman on the show in a minute. Oh, dude, that'd be badass if we could do that. Be like, hey, let's call Bali. There you go, man. That would be good. That would be fucking awesome. Man. Fucking slammies, dude. Do we? Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is bad. Hey, we're not into that yet. We're going. We're we're, uh, we're still talking about. Hey, we all right, let's, probably let's, shouldn't let's, even get into it. This is bad. Well, we I, I probably shouldn't have brought up the Taz thing, but I really thought it was hilarious. And, um, of course, the first person to come out to fight uh, CM Punk was uh, Jason David Frank, who was the Green Ranger. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I saw him challenged, man. Oh, God. I'd watch. He's trying to gain some more fame again. Dude, nobody gives a fuck about the Green Ranger. This is not the fucking, you know, I mean. I'd watch. I would. I, I would definitely watch that. Uh, I... I mean, how long has the guy not been around? I don't know. I didn't, uh, sorry, I had a swig of beer for the... Beer for the working man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking again, fuck it. Um, I had two months off. I think that's pretty fucking good. There you go. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 20th episode of the Hot Tag Podcast. Oh, so, my God. It is. is. Oh, man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, 20th. Can you dig it? 
Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I can dig it, man. Can you dig it, suckers? I can dig it. He was on there tonight. Yeah, that's always good, right? Yeah, that's always fun to have Booker T on there. But um, uh, one hundred percent sarcastic, by the way. Yeah, that's another one of those guys, man. That I just I uh, just don't care for him anymore. Eh, what are you gonna do, right? No, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just stop watching. It. That's a good solution. No, well, um, well, it is a good solution. We'll probably just go off Lucha Underground, <laughs> and, honestly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, just talk about Lucha. It's much better than that shit. All right, forget about Punk. We, Punk's in the UFC. It was a whole big thing. Two weeks in a row, Punk broke the internet, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, Lucha, how many have you watched? Uh, I'm, I'm still on the third one. Oh man! Come on, man! I, I did a lucha uh, poster. That's that's good enough. I watched Vince McMahon the the podcast with him and Austin. You want to talk about that instead? Since we've kind of uh, watched that. Yeah, yeah, we can go into that a little bit. Um, kind of got into it last week, but uh, you know, whatever you would want, you would want to touch touch base on. I didn't really see much. I mean, the the the, the excerpts I heard were kind of uh, good enough, but um, I don't know. Um, Vince got very angry when Stone Cold, right in the beginning, Stone Cold called it pro wrestling. Well, he continued to do so. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he did, and Vince just kept kind of looking away and shrugging, you know, kind of shrugging his eyes, if you you know, if you know, understand what I mean by that, Adam. Um, that's what my dad did. All right. If your dad didn't start it, you wouldn't have had it. So let's breathe, motherfucker. Yeah, this guy, well, it's not professional wrestling. Oh, I mean, Austin, when you were doing, uh, the, you know, the, the songs and shit, was that professional? Oh, come on, dude. It's it's fucking wrestling. Yeah, I found it. To be... it, is, it is what it is. It's 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 wrestling, man. It's not fucking yeah. sports entertain. I hate that word, man. I hate. The fact that we have to refer to it as sports entertaining. I mean, yeah, and Vince, um, the pool story was funny. Him, Austin <laughs> bringing up Shane pushing him in the pool was even funnier to see Vince's face. <laughs> I, I, I fully believe that that guy was erect. Uh, 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 Shane uh, drove away. Wouldn't you? If, if Vince McMahon has this big of this, this big of an obsession with like uh, fucking pranks and all that shit, he didn't you say know something bad is coming, man. You push Vince, you know, you know something bad is coming. He said he didn't run. He said Shane drove away. I was like, he drove the fuck away. You must have wanted to kill him. Yeah. This man pushes person after person in the pool for a rib. You do it to him, and he'll fucking tear your head off. There you Holy go. shit, man. Do you think Shane still watches wrestling? Like, every year, even an episode? I'm sure he watches here and there when he can. I'm yeah. sure. I have a feeling he doesn't. I don't think he watches, like, like makes it, like, oh, I have to watch, but I'm sure he catches it when he can. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I I thoroughly enjoyed that interview, man. I I don't know. Do, I they, have, do they have anything on the network tonight? Did they what? No, not that I saw. Because it, it seems to be like a pattern that they have a that they debut some kind of show after Raw every week now. I didn't see anything coming up after Raw tonight. Um, they didn't even put a commercial out for it that I saw. But I don't know, man. I I definitely like that. Uh, like that show. They really need to do that. I mean, he has a whole gamut of people he could run down Austin and do that once a month. Or just the just regular uh, guests that he has for his podcast. Just Once a week. I mean, he could go through the whole fucking roster. On, and, you know, there's going to be new guys coming in. and yeah. There's tons of old there. guys. You know. Good it stuff. Lasts. Yeah, it lasts how long it lasts. Whatever. I would love to see Abdul the Butcher and Austin sit down. 
It's like yeah. a dream of mine. I, I need to see this happen. I'd like to see him get into like you know, I don't know, man. It, it the the one with Vince did seem a little. Vince was really trying to be PC. You could tell he was really trying to be uh, you know, not say anything to uh, you know, uh, stir up anything. Well, I mean, you can't blame him. Would you? I mean, no. the, the guy's you know in control of a billion dollar company, so I can't. They still. I still don't believe he did not know Punk was getting those papers on his wedding day. I still don't believe it. Ah, I um, believe him, man. That is the mo- that is the wor- that's the most insincere apology I've ever heard, dude. I'm sorry. Then again, then again, man. I mean, the post the post office can have a lot to do with this. It's not like you know they they no. they don't have. Personal guy dropping mail off at the guy's house. I mean, they could have shipped it out a, a fucking week ago, and and it just got there now. Yeah? They're not gonna mail something like that. They're gonna overnight FedEx something like that to get you to sign for it. There is no way they're gonna fucking mail that shit. Nah. That overnight jobby. You gotta remember, Triple H talked to him two days before his wedding. Well, maybe. Well. Keep in mind, when, when Triple H, to his credit, when he did a call uh, CM Punk, CM Punk told him that he was on his uh, vacation or whatever, and he's going to call him back. So maybe, just maybe, he was calling him to give him a heads up about you know him being terminated. Look at you seeing the bright side of stuff. I well, like that. It's, hey, nice it's, 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 that. Midnight. it's midnight. We have to be positive. That's very nice. of it, No, it's only 1130 here. Fuck positive. <laughs> You know, I'm an East Coast man, so midnight over here. I'm on the midnight train now. <laughs> we are on the midnight train riding to the THT sunset. Yeah, late night on the Hot Tag Podcast. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I guess we should get into Raw. Well, wait a minute. What else we got here that's big? Is there anything else? Big that we need to talk about tonight. Um, I'd like to talk about Abdul the Butcher wanting to be on on Steve Austin's podcast. That would be awesome. Go ahead. I'm so sorry I interrupted you. Yeah. No, there's really not much to say about it other than I'd like to see it. So please, let's let's make this happen. I'd love to. I don't know, man. I love Abdul the Butcher. I don't know. I know. I just I gave I'm you the, the guy. I, I love I love Abby. I know. Hands you, down, my favorite wrestler of all time when I was a kid. As far you, as like you know, being being terrified of the guy. Have you met his boy? No, and I don't want to. Yeah, I've seen pictures of him. You don't fuck, want. To. Yeah, fuck that guy, man. Yeah, I think it's funny. There was some articles last week about Dixie Carter talking about possibly signing CM Punk. Oh, no anymore. <laughs> oh no, Dixie, no. I'm just reading through some of the stuff I put in the news file here, and there's really the only news after Punk was reactions to Punk. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Punk uh, broke the internet. Yeah, WWE was nice enough to, uh, you know, wish him good luck in his in in his uh, endeavors. So uh, good on them. Now I'll I'll tell you what, man. Um, you know, prior to hearing him on, on the art of wrestling, I I expected him to, if if any time he was going to return, I expected to be in in the WWE. But just the fact that he went on Colt Cabana's podcast and, and shared his story, that kind of gives me the insight to his, his thoughts on how how he kind of works. Um, I don't, I really fully believe that he doesn't care about money that much, so. I can definitely see him coming back to wrestling, but never again in the, in the WWE. Maybe Ring of Honor, something like that, because uh, clearly he could have made a lot of money off of this uh, story with the WWE. I mean, he could have sold a shoot interview to, to RF Video or High Spots. I'm sure they would have paid him a lot of money. Yeah. So the fact that he just went on his friend's podcast shows that you know he's not all about money. Of course, he's a businessman. Your heart, man. He still has a love for the thing. I mean, he likes helping out his friends. Uh, Ring of Honor clearly helped him out a lot. So 
I can see him kind of giving them the rub one day. Uh, TNA, never say never, but you know, obviously in the, in the near future, it's it's not happening anytime soon. But never know. I I might say never. I well, don't ever go. I I see him going to well. I guess you could never. I mean, if TNA suddenly became a player on this new station or something, maybe. But yeah. I, it, man, I just don't fucking see it. Well, apparently, uh, Vince McMahon is fucking furious about him heading to the uh, UFC. I, I could see that. I could see him freaking out. About so, whether they want to admit it or not, man, their biggest competition is UFC. It's not TNA. Um, it's not. Dude. It's not TNA. Is not a fucking competition. It's, it, no, I definitely agree with that. I just don't know if I agree with that. That's their biggest competition. Well, yeah, I, 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 what other competition do they have? It's, it's either TNA or UFC or Bellator. UFC is the closest. NFL when they're in season. Well, I mean, I wouldn't really. I mean, they're yeah, they're in competition as far as ratings, but uh, as far as you know, being similar products, they're they're not really similar. I mean, UFC is more similar to wrestling than than NFL. And you just brought up Bellator. Right. I keep seeing and hearing things about uh, Bellator trying to, right after Mania, looking to make a play with at Brock Lesnar. What do you think about that? Um, I Yeah, I heard about this also. Um, okay, good. Clearly, I, th I, I really do believe Brock is leaving after Mania. I don't think he's going to stay around. Mm -hmm. And again, it wouldn't surprise me because it's good fucking money for uh, like doing five appearances a year. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's more like 25 appearances a year or 100. I don't know. 100? There's no way he's doing 100 appearances. No, I'd say 50. 25? Not, to 50. not even. Not 20, even. 25? Maybe like 20. I, I wouldn't even give it that. How many yeah. times have we seen Brock this year, man? Barely. I mean... We've seen him have like four matches and maybe five or six appearances. Yeah, you would figure if WWE wanted to lock him up, they're going to put him under a different schedule. Um, yeah. I guess we'll know at Mania if he wins the belt or not, what's going to happen. I'm certain he's going to drop the belt. Oh, God, I'm just afraid of who he's going to drop it to. I mean, um, do you really think he's going to hold it past wrestling? Mania, I mean, it's it's kind of a shitty run as is. Not kind of, it really is a shitty run. I, I don't, I mean, I was, I, I like the idea of Brock Lesnar being the champ, man, but I mean, dude, what they've been doing the last two months is is terrible. I mean, okay. I understand the guy can't come in, do a fucking video at his house. I haven't seen the goddamn belt for two months. I forgot that there was a champion. <laughs> they need to be doing more of those those videos they were playing have Paul. Exactly. Paul was out there tonight. Paul did come out tonight, mention Brock, blah blah. So and you know, well Brock is Christmas apparently. So he's he's coming soon. Are you there? I no. lost you for a second. Right, you said Brock is. Go. Yeah, I said uh, Brock is Christmas only uh, once a year. <laughs> there you Happy go. Merry Brockmas. Yeah. <laughs> gonna come in screaming. Do you, do you remember him screaming? Oh. Oh God. He, they <laughs> did not have Brock screaming. Yeah, that was that was the greatest scream of all time. It was terrible. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I could see Bellator putting out some money, and I could see him definitely building a company like that. Um, I feel bad for Sable. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine this guy busting a load and screaming like that? She's screaming deeper than he is. Yeah, I mean, she probably is. <laughs> no, Sable had a pretty high pitch. Oh! oh! Brock yes. Lesnar. God, I love the way that man says that. But um, yeah, I I I could see him going to build a company like that, fighting maybe 
two, three fights in a year. Yeah. Against. Dude, Brock is all about money. Whoever gives him the most money, that's where he's going. Yeah, and a lot of people are saying, you know, Bellator is looking to dump money into, you know, Sp Spike and Viacom are looking to dump money into Bell Bellator. They want to be an alternative to UFC, not, uh, not UFC light. They want to be an alternative. Yeah. So, hmm, where have we heard that before? Alternative, not light. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I hope uh, Kits and Ass is listening. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Kits and Ass. Yeah. So, uh, well, since it is late and we came here to talk about Raw, I guess we should get into it because we've been talking for a while now. Yeah, I mean, is there anything else other than Raw? Like I said, dude, the news was just... CM Punk and um, reactions to CM Punk and uh, WWE reacts to CM Punk backstage on CM Punk. Punk, 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 punk. Motherfucker. Well, what about uh, Ring of Honor? Did you get to watch it? I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I feel like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What the fuck is going on, man? What the hell was that, dude? I have no fucking idea. That wasn't me. That was awesome. <laughs> That was awesome. There you go, man. I got no clue what that was. Well, did, did you watch Ring of Honor? I did not, but I saw you, you uh, saw post that it was good. Uh, it's kind of creepy. Are we? Was that it again? What? 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 Was... Wait, what? 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 What was creepy? What? No, you said uh, you said you saw me, and that's all you said. And I said that's kind of creepy. No, I saw you post that it was good, and we should all get it. Yeah. But I was not in a place where I could get a pay per view at the time. Right. Well, when you get a chance, dude, watch this pay per view. I have heard it is. It was a fantastic showdown, and, and usually, when I say fantastic on the show, I'm, I'm being absolutely sarcastic. This time I mean it. It was actually a great show. Um, top to bottom, great matches. I mean, I I wasn't bored a, a second of this pay-per-view. And honestly, when I watch pay-per-views like this, man, it gives me that old feeling where you're like, you know, you're fucking excited. When I watch a WWE pay-per-view, dude, it's like, oh, my God. Why is this happening? This shit fucking sucks. Okay, this match could potentially be good. Oh, great match. Oh, fuck, they, they fucked up the ending. Oh, here comes Kane. You know, it's like, come on, man. I, I don't know, man. But literally, hands down, one of my favorite pay-per-views of the year was uh, the final battle from last night, Ring of Honor. Great job. I salute you guys. Um, awesome showdown, man. Nice. And uh, hands down, man, the Young Bucks are the greatest tag team right now, dude. Young Bucks, that's where it's at. Dude, I, 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 every time I see those guys, I just think, why are they not in WWE? But I understand. Because they don't shake Booker T's hand. Yeah, exactly. They didn't fucking shake Booker T's hand, so they're not they in WWE. They didn't kiss Vince McMahon's ass on, on, on the first fucking meeting. Yeah, and you know what? Besides that, it's probably good they're not in WWE because yeah, we do. It, it's good. Great, they're not. They would not be able to wrestle the way they wrestle in WWE. No one would be able to keep up with them. Yeah. They, they, dude, they do 50 super kicks a, a match. They would not be able to do any of that stuff in, in WWE. So. No, they'd have to wrestle the fucking Lucha Dragons every night. Yeah, exactly. Hey, exactly, or, you know, whatever. But. Or the Usos. Uh, that, could, that could actually be a great match. Usos and Young Bucks, but, uh, I mean, how many times would you want to see that? I'd uh, maybe... Three? Yeah, exactly. But you'll get to see it maybe uh, three. I mean, Usos and Wyatt's great showdown. Then how many times did we see it? And then it's like, ah, I don't want to see this anymore. Dude, we got seen a big show tonight. How many times do you want to see that? Uh, never. I, I didn't want to see it once, so. <laughs> yeah. Great. 
great uh, at. At least, at least they did it on Raw, man. At least they're not doing this shit on a pay-per-view. Yeah, I'd rather not. Well, you knew it was coming. You know, you know, who said that they're not? I mean, who said they're not leading to one? True. I no, hopefully not. Rumbles around the corner. Dude, stop it! I have I have tickets. Um, I go to that fucking show and it's Big Show and Cena, dude. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. But yeah, Ring of Honor last night, man. The Young Bucks and ACH against Cedric Alexander and The Addiction, aka Bad Influence. What a fucking match. Five stars, dude. Not a goddamn botch in that match. Not a... Everything was so smooth. Every move, man. Nothing was was handled was mishandled. Everything was good. Great stuff. Dude, you gotta give Chris, Christopher Daniels some credit, man. That motherfucker... What is he, 45 oh, yeah. years old? Oh, yeah, dude. He's, he's keeping up with them. He was, he was... Same with, uh... Fucking... What's, what's the other guy's name? Ah, oh, shit. Frankie Kazarian. Yeah, he's he's you know he's getting up there. Yeah, those two guys. I mean, I, dude, I couldn't believe when TNA decided to let them go, but they must have been under some really big paying contracts for them to do that. But yeah. I thought they were, for almost a year they were one of the most entertaining things on the show. No lie. Yeah, I will, uh, I stopped watching TNA. Well, I'm I, I'm saying in my opinion. For probably a year, they were like the most entertaining thing on that show. Even when the whole Claire Lynch thing was going on, we were still funny and entertaining. Yeah. Even uh, though. They didn't. Yeah, dude. I, I hope anybody watching this, you know, uh, definitely check them out, support them. See, that's that's the that's the type of wrestling that. You know, I I'd like people to support, man. Support the small guys. Get some competition out there. I mean, of course, there's never, and I mean never, going to be you know pro wrestling competition or sports entertainment competition for WWE, really. But uh, you know, it's 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 nice to have uh, uh you know something different, like lucha, you know. And I hope there can be one day. Maybe there will be one day. I don't know about never. There could be a ah oh, no, dude. Uh, like, uh, like another WCW coming up? Do you really see that happening? Popping up, man. Global Force is popping up, man. Oh, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta join the force. Get behind it. Support it. Buy an eight by ten. Get a koozie. Yeah. Koozies. I collect koozies. I have tons of them. Awesome. My girlfriend wants to throw them out. I won't fucking let her. Yeah. I wouldn't either. Yo, I won't let her, but I buy a koozie, buy a t-shirt, buy an 8x10 of Karen's tits hanging out. Buy a trucker hat. Buy a trucker hat. Dude, I love trucker hats. I look like shit. And they tuned out. Hey. No, but I, but I do up. not have a Global hey. Force Wrestling one yet. I need, I need to get one. Well, honestly, man, watching this Ring of Honor show and, you know, just being at House of Hardcore last month and, you know, seeing Lucha Underground pop up, you got Global Force coming up, if whatever, you know, honestly, I am starting to get very excited about wrestling. And I didn't think I was going to be able to say this, and it's uh, clearly not because of WWE, but uh, 2015 should be good, man. We got New Japan coming to, 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 to America, right? Yep, yep. Sure. We got New Japan, we got Global Force, we got Ring of Honor, we got TNA getting a fresh start, and we got Lucha Underground. That's five other promotions other than the WWE that you can that you can watch and support. So Yeah. I'm excited to I I think that honestly gives us a reason to stop complaining. Honestly, then I can just stop watching WWE if I want to for a couple months. Cause then we can just talk about that shit, you know. We got five other promotions to talk about. Yeah, we might just start touching on WWE like we every now and then touch on. Like, honestly, I'll watch it from some uh, like I guess Survivor Series to SummerSlam. But between SummerSlam and Survivor Series, dude, I it's so bad every year that it just honestly 
if there is better stuff that we can watch, I'd much rather just review that shit. Yeah, you could just fast forward through it. Fast forward. DVR. DVR. Honestly, I, I just go on their YouTube, and uh, they just have, like, this is what I do for SmackDown, if, just to see if there's anything interesting. Just go to their YouTube. They post, like, little two-minute clips of, like, pretty much every match. So you can watch the whole show in, like, ten minutes. Hulu. Yeah. I, I have enough, like, Dude, I'm like subscribed to every fucking thing. That's the last thing I need to subscribe to. I got a Hulu. I like my Hulu. My son loves the Hulu. But uh, yeah, the Hulu's good. I really never got the you know whole fascination with the Hulu. Well, Lucha Underground's on Hulu. Really? Yes. Hmm. I actually might have to buy that just for that. Where do you think I've been watching it? Wink, wink. Nice. <laughs> So, actually, I did watch this episode on on there, and it was uh, damn, another good episode, man. You've got to catch up. Yeah, you've got to catch up. They're all on the drive on Google Drive. You've got to catch up, dude. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I've, I don't know, man. I always forget. You could probably seriously, if you sit and watch one, you're gonna want to watch all three. I'm probably gonna watch all three in a row. Oh, it's you. Not, it's not that long. It's only like 45 minutes each. It's yeah, they're like forty-three minute episodes because there's no commercials or anything. Right. Oh, damn, dude, these matches are sick. You've got to see some of the moves these guys are doing. It's great. I'm loving it on my TV. I never watch much of the lucha or the you know Mexican wrestling or anything. So yeah, this is all kind of new to me. So if I'm marking out like a little bitch, I'm sorry, but I'm loving lucha underground. And like you said, dude, that's got me, you know, excited about watching wrestling at least. Well, again, watch that Ring of Honor last night. That will get you excited too. Yeah, I hope that, that fucking. I, I, well, let's let me let me get all my Ring of Honor marking out out, out the way real quick. Um, one of the best hardcore matches that I've seen recently last night, dude. Last night, Adam Cole and Jay Briscoe tore the fucking house down. They had a fucking fantastic... Dude, they, he threw thumbtacks in his mouth. In his mouth, right? And then he super kicked a guy. How much greater can you get than that? That's, 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 that's a fucking great hardcore spot right there. Are you there? What do you do? Did I lose you? you? You yeah, you did. He he threw thumbtacks in his mouth. Yeah. That's where I lost you. Go yeah, ahead. Adam Cole, he he took a handful of thumbtacks and he just kind of uh threw it in Jay Briscoe's mouth. Man, after he shoved it in his mouth, he super kicked the fucking guy right in his mouth. Damn. Yeah. Great table spots, great great thumbtack spots. Dude, they tore that fucking house down. And let me go ahead and say this. A lot of people complain about Ring of Honor's lighting. They've had better lighting effects, so I, I give them credit for that. I know JR was always complaining about that. So, you know, you can see they're, they're finally starting to make some changes. That's another that's another promotion I'd like to see on, on, on a bigger scale, on, yeah. a, on an actual network, man. If Ring of Honor was on TV every week, that's another reason I can't keep up with Lucha Underground, man. I just, for some reason, my mind is just not programmed. I'm not, you know, the most technological sound guy. I don't. I like. I fucking hate streaming stuff, you know. Other than other than the network, pretty much, since it's it's on my PS3, I hate streaming anything, man. Like I can't watch anything on my computer. Yeah, you need to just download these bad boys to a flash drive and pop them in there, fucking uh. PS3. Yeah, I just I don't know, man. It's it's like a mental thing. I just I can't watch anything on my laptop unless it's like a YouTube video or you know clearly something that's that's short. I can I can watch the shit anywhere. I can watch it on my phone. I don't care. Oh, that would kill me. I have like OCD. I I, I you know I just I don't know. It's one of my pet peeves, man. I need the big screen. I watched half of WrestleMania on my phone. Oh, you're insane. I, that would drive me crazy. Dude, if you saw my network, you would have watched on my phone too. You would have been sitting right beside me being like, fuck it, let's watch on your phone. It was horrible for the for the first half. It was horrible. I couldn't even get on. 
Yeah. So I watched on my phone because my phone, my phone on LTE with no internet was working ten times better than the actual network on my computer. Man. Yeah. So yeah, because I watched, I watched the first two matches of WrestleMania driving home. Yeah, I remember you. Uh, you mentioned that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I watched the first couple matches driving home and that whole Steve Austin segment. Yeah, that's what I did with uh, SummerSlam, I believe. The first two matches, I caught it on my phone because I was driving back from the airport. I had my six-year... Tuned out. Hold in the back. Yeah, I lost you for a second, didn't I? Yeah, you just tuned out for a second. Yeah, I said I had my six... Nope. <laughs> right at the same spot, you tuned out again. Hold in the back screen. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Every time you want to say say that, it just cuts you off right when it cuts you off last time. But uh, yeah. Oh. Then you just tuned out on me for a second. YouTube, what the fuck, man? Oh, damn this internet shit. You know what, Shaheen? Maybe I need to move to fucking Philly. Yeah, just move over here. We can do a live and just. Yeah. Oh man, I hate the fucking cold weather though. Oh, it's nice, man. No. It, nah, man, it gives you a reason to stay in. It's like a long vacation. No, I can't do that shit. It's fucking like, it's it's like chilly here, not even that cold. Let's see, what is it here? It's 40, 40 degrees here right now. Yeah, it's probably like 18 degrees here. Yeah, and tomorrow it's going to be up to, let's see here, 50, 60, 65. Let me see what we got here. We got uh, snow. Holy shit, it's snowing now. What? Yeah. See, I'm going to say this. Fuck that. 32 degrees. 32 degrees and it's snowing now apparently. I don't I'm in the basement so I don't I don't see the snow. Dude, I lived in South Florida for 16 years. I didn't see snow. I don't like snow. I don't want to see snow. I don't care for snow. Dude, we got snow uh like at least 10 times last year. Dude, snow can suck my dick, okay? We actually got snow on Thanksgiving here. Snow on Thanksgiving can suck my dick. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah, sounds good for you. That's what. <laughs> no, nah, it sounds cold. And yeah, we tuned out again, man. Cold. Fuck that. That does sound cold. All right. Um, <laughs> we've been talking for probably an hour. Yeah. And have not gotten into Raw yet. Oh, fuck Raw, man. <laughs> By the way, uh, damn! See, that's we got so much good wrestling coming on this this weekend. Also, we got CZW, a uh, Cage of Death. It's gonna be fucking reckless. So, for any hardcore fans, CZW Cage of Death this weekend. You can order it on iPay-Per-View. Uh, if you want to watch some reckless, reckless wrestling, that's that's a good wrestling promotion. They should make that reckless wrestling. There you go. Don't say that on the air. It could be our promotion, Gene. Well, yeah, let's make this happen. We could, we could have That's catchy though. I like that reckless wrestling. We could have CM Punk and Green Ranger wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> we could have them wrestle. Yeah. If, if honestly, if well, I guess you want to talk about Raw. Let's get into Raw. Uh, dude, keep keep going. I'm I'm fine. I was gonna, I was gonna say if we were to start a promotion, right? Who would what would you do right now? Who are a couple guys you would pick up? <sighs> Putting you on the spot right now. On the motherfucking spot. I told you what I tag. All right, so is this like 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 fantasy? Like we got a ton of money and we're throwing money at people? Right. Okay. Um, I'd like to pick up, let's see, I'd pick up, I, honestly, Jay Lethal. Okay. Well, he's... Isn't he with uh, Ring of Honor? Wait, you said this was fantasy, and I could throw money at people and pick them up. Well, you can well you can throw money at people, but you can't dismiss contracts. Oh man, you see, if I'm throwing money at people, my lawyers are badass. All right, all right, all right. Jay Lethal. All right. <laughs> Got you were Jewish, man. I'm sorry. Got you were Jewish. I'd get people like that. You know what, dude? I'd get a lot more of the smaller, quicker guys. Um, 
you gotta have your uh, you gotta have some big guys. Man, who would I get? That's just like there's like no free agents right now. All of them are either with ROH, Lucha, Underground, or WWE. Well, I, I think the ROH guys can still do some uh, like other shows. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I would probably take half of their fucking roster to do a show. Yeah. That's the problem. That would be the problem right now because they're. You can also take TNA. What? You can also take all pretty much all of TNA right now because none I, of them are under contract. Like, you could probably pick up most of the TNA guys that are you know for fucking pennies on the dollar right now. So basically. Our promotion would be half of ROH and half of TNA, and <laughs> it'd probably be much better than uh, a lot of the shit you're seeing now. Probably. Yeah, I, w- I would definitely get the Briscoes and the Young Bucks, though, man, as far as tag teams, because I think that's what wrestling is really missing is a, is a nice, really nice tag team division. That's I would do that. You know, of course, uh, you know, good main event roster. It, it, it would be good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'd... Definitely, I mean, yeah. I would get Luke Hawks. Definitely, that's. I think that's one of those underrated guys that nobody's touched so far. Yeah, uh, I mean, honestly, dude, what would you? I mean, you'd want to get a bunch of these indie darlings to try to get your promotion going, and there's not many left out there. WWE has sucked them all up, even though they say they hate the indies. But yeah, I mean, Brian Cesaro was one. Ambrose was one. Rollins was one. I would I would honestly pick up Cesaro after uh, his contract is done. I, I don't think he's going to stick around, man. I, I'm, I'm calling this right now. Mark my word. He's going to go to New Japan. I could see it. Because I, I think New Japan is going to be rapidly grown by then. Because obviously they're they're targeting the U.S. You know, uh... U.S. and, with, you know, with the whole network. And I guess, that, I guess they're going to have a TV deal with something. You know what channel it was? I forgot what channel it was, but uh, uh, who was that again? T- uh, TV deal? New Japan. I guess they got some kind of TV deal in the, in, in the oh, states. Man, you're gonna ask me to remember shit from last week. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't remember. I mean, you folks can search it for yourself, but yeah, New Japan is gonna be on on, on television in, in, in the states. So, and with their network, and uh, you know, their network is launched already, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, only in Japanese so far, but. I think they're gonna uh, translate it over to English in the next couple months. So when they do that, I'm I'm certainly gonna buy it. Yeah, I I read they're looking to translate it, get it translated soon. So they, yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool for me. I'd be fine with that. That's gonna be awesome. Get some Bam Bam Bigelow and Vader matches from the fucking early '90s, and you know Stan Hansen and all that good shit. Yeah, that'd be good stuff. Here. Get some Owen Hart and Benoit. Some good old old school New Japan. See, you mentioned Chris Benoit and you locked up. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> the zip popper. The, oh god, I can't believe that story. Yeah, what a sick fuck, man. That is a pretty nasty story, man. Yeah, that's that's really disgusting. I mean, when like I like I said this last week, man, <laughs> when somebody does something like that. You have to know they have a disturbed mind. I mean, that's not that's not normal, man. That is as abnormal as you can get. Popping other people's zits. I've never heard of that shit. Yeah, I, I, no, never. Yeah, no, I haven't either. Yeah, and I'd like to never hear that again. So no, I'm 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 not even gonna try to defend it. <laughs> not even there, man. Not even gonna do it. Yeah. Nope. I hear you, man. But, yeah, New Japan is going to be exciting, man. Do you think they're going to do well in the States before we get into a role? Let's talk about New Japan because I guess that's that's actually a pretty big thing that's happening right now that we've uh, kind of failed to talk about. Um, they probably will get a following pretty quick. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's going to be something new for a lot of people. So, yeah, I could see them doing good. Well... Oh. They they are looking to be a threat to the WWE, so that's that's actually what they've said, which uh, kind of scary at the same time because it reminds me of like TNA. Yeah, and I don't think the second promotion should be doing that because 
obviously, man. I mean, the, the mo obviously New Japan has money, but it's not on the same caliber as, as WWE. So why even try to to really, you know, compete with them on, on, on that on that level? It just it doesn't really make sense. Just put out a better product, and people are just gonna, you know, automatically grasp your product, and they're gonna like it. But yeah. I don't know. I certainly you know wish them well, and I'm excited for it. Um, That'd be good stuff, man. You got the Young Bucks there. You got AJ Styles. You got all these good guys up there. It's it's, it's good stuff. Yeah, AJ's uh damn near killing people with that move of his. Yeah, that's another thing we didn't talk about. Good thing you brought that up, man. Do you think he should ban it? Well, he shouldn't ban it. I mean, do you think it should be banned? Um, I mean, he's heard about three or four guys this year. Yeah, but how many guys got hurt doing the? Um, what am I thinking of? The move wrong. The what? Taking the move the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, he sends people. You're not supposed to tuck your head. Just take it as a flat chest bump. But I don't know. I mean, Doomsday Device hurt a lot of people too. You know, the Road Warriors move. Right. So, well, that's because they were killing jobbers. Well, they were two big badass motherfuckers who could do something like that. In, in, in Vince McMahon's eyes, jobbers aren't humans. They don't. They don't count. Yeah. Um, having the jobbers. To have a move banned is pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, Michelle McCool does that move. Or did that move? The pile driver is banned. WWE banned it. I've seen it on TNA. Right. Well, I'm yeah. I'm talking about WWE. Yeah, they banned it. Um, to have a move completely banned in wrestling itself, I don't think. I mean, he's no. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Do you think he should come up with a with a new finisher? No. I I think he should, man. I don't think so, dude. He's broken like two or three necks. That's that's not good in in a year. I mean, well, he's wrestling a lot more people in a year. People who yeah. don't take that move all the time, like he was in TNA, wrestling the same people who took the move all the time. But he's getting older, man. He's getting older. True, he is getting older. But that move, it, oh, he's 45, man. I mean, it does look like an easy move to take. Just keep your head straight and. Right. It actually does. It kind of just looks like you're just, you know, going flat on your chest. But. I, but I can see if you tuck your head, you're going to fuck yourself up. Right. Don't move your head. So, I don't know. Um, I'd probably have to uh, I'd probably have to be in the ring to see. I don't know. I've never been in the ring, so I probably don't want to say. I don't know. Well, Yoshi Tatsu, he's got a, he's got a broken neck, and he's got he's actually broken his neck in two different uh, parts. <laughs> No good. No, no good. No bueno. Yes, sir. Well, you want to talk about Raw? I guess we should get into it since it's getting late and we haven't even talked about it yet. But uh, let's see. Opened up with a video package uh, for John Cena and Big Show pushing their main event as like this big blockbuster like we haven't seen it before. Uh... Jerry Lawler comes out and introduces the host for the Slammy Awards, Seth Green. Yeah. Well, I, God, I, I like yeah. robot chicken. That's about it. God damn, this guy is short. Yes, he is. He's really tiny. Yeah. Um, they get interrupted by The Miz and uh, Damian Mizdow. And um, Miz is... Uh, Mizdow is just... He's the only thing that made this segment tolerable. Right. In my opinion. He's, you know, Miz is just, Miz Dow's doing his thing and moving his mouth to Miz and all this and whatever. Miz says he's an A-lister and Seth Green says he sees one too, but it's Miz Dow instead. Right. So. Well, I agree with that. Did you notice that we finally got the Hulk Hogan guy again? Mm-hmm. How long has that guy been going for? I don't know. The guy in the front row? Yeah. That's tie-dye guy. Is it? Yeah. Isn't that tie-dye guy? 
I thought it was a fake Hulk Hogan from back in the day. Looks like the, the yeah, it looks like him. I don't know. Do you remember? I, uh, do you remember that one guy with with the goofy glasses in the in the late eighties and early nineties? He would literally be at every Madison Square Garden show at all the WCW pay per views, all the WWF pay per views, always front row. Um, he actually has a he has like an internet gimmick name. I, f- I forgot what it was. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. It was a biracial guy. He was really light skinned. No facial hair. He was always at the ECW shows. He was at like every show, literally like every show. I don't. I didn't really look back then for people in the audience. I just, I kind of just watched. Yeah, he's like a he's like a myth. Everybody wants to know how he just always had front row tickets at every show. You gotta know somebody. Yeah. Or you gotta know somebody. Like the hat guy and all that in, in ECW, did they just have some kind of like contract with, with Paul Heyman to just like, hey, I'll, I'll toss you like a thousand a couple months and, you know, just give me front row tickets? Either that, they just knew someone that maybe they knew they someone at Ticketmaster. They had the same spot. They always had the same spot. They were Ticketmaster friends, man. Maybe they worked at Ticketmaster. Yeah. Maybe? Now, the hat guy lives. You know, well, they say. I mean, I, I don't know the fucking guy, but they say he he lives like five minutes away from me. So it'd be nice to see like the hat guy at you know a fucking grocery store doing the hat guy gimmick, asking what he thinks about him. Uh, Still doing the gimmick. Yeah, that would funny. Funny guy. Huh. Yeah, back to WWE. <laughs> This is going to be a tough one. Um, So after all that nonsense, uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins happens. Best sellers in in the fucking WWE right now. This was a good match. It was a good match. What do you expect from it? Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler? The question was, they started the match, they wrestled for about a minute and a half, and then they went right to commercial. Yep. Why... Why bother starting the match? Because they want to push the WWE app. Oh, right. They they know. See, this is what they do. It's it's smart marketing. They know all like the you know kids and all the fucking you know it's still real to me. Damn it, guys. They know <laughs> those people. They they have the app. Those are the people that download the app. Oh yeah. So what they do is they give guys like us, the type of match that we want to see, like Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler, Luke Harper and Dolph Ziggler, matches like that, and they barely show you any of it to push the app on us. You know? That's what I think. Because, yeah, it doesn't make sense to, to start the match. Just just wait another minute and just go to commercial. <laughs> yeah. Time for us to go to commercial now. Um... Anyway, I'm just. I, I, I think that's what I think that's the reason behind it. Other, otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Probably, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. They do want you on that app. You know, they say exclusively on the app, and then they show you what happened on the app as soon as they came back to room from commercial. Right. Which makes it not exclusive anymore. Exactly. But anyway. I just had to mention that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Z- Seth Rollins won that match. Um, awesome. It was not a bad match at all. I liked it. Rollins is good. Dolph Ziggler is mm-hmm. good. Uh, then we go to Seth Green, who starts by bringing out... Uh, by the way, before that, they brought out the um, f- nominees for the first Slammy which was the awesome moment of the year, named after Miz. Yeah. And it was Sting. And unfortunately, Sting couldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Why even put him in the category, then? <laughs> like, what uh, the fuck, man? Why do, you, why, why do you do this to yourself? Yeah, why it was... Yourself in the leg. It, it's, so, it's so dumb, man. It's just... 
it's it's so it's so WWE. Um, this is this is so TNA, man. This is a TNA move. Well, no, Rollins sort of saved it. Rollins grabs it, and you know his music hits, and he walks up the ramp, and he starts, you know, oh, Sting doesn't deserve this, blah blah blah. I, I you know. The Sting cost me the biggest win of my career, and Rollins accepts the award because Sting doesn't deserve it. Yeah, I mean, but <laughs> silly man. <laughs> Why even mention this guy if if he's not coming around for a while? Uh, I kind of agree. But, um, then we go to the ring, and who's coming out? It's the New Day. New Day. Oh my God. New Day. You guys are really trying too hard. Oh, um, I know, man. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. So we don't it, – honestly, dude, they don't – it's almost like you can tell they don't like it, but they're doing it just so they can get on TV. Of course they don't like it. <laughs> you can tell. Unfortunately, you can tell it's in their face. It's like – all right, it's like it's like telling a, a Mexican guy that he has to do this this uh you know this fucking landscaping gimmick. It's like telling a you know Arabic guy that he has to do this this uh you know terrorist gimmick. Of course they don't like doing it, man. I mean, well, do you honestly think this guy with like a master's degree likes coming out to the ring acting like a fucking asshole? <laughs> I was gonna say acting like a preacher, but you can say acting like an asshole. That's fine too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm happy for them, I guess, to be on TV, but God bless them, no pun intended. It, I just, I don't care, I don't know, man. Are they preachers? Is that the, I don't know, I, I don't know what they are. Once That's we what, find out what they are, I can give you my opinion, but I just, I don't know what they are. In the vignette, they were preaching. Well, I mean. Weren't they? Well, they were doing the, I don't know. They were doing the preacher voice, and the delivery was like a preacher, but I don't. And they had the choir. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, they never mentioned God or anything like that, but. Oh, dude, that would be wrong. You can't do that. You're going to offend somebody. Right. It's, I forgot. I'm sorry. I, I forgot it's 2014. Yeah, 2014, you mentioned that word, the G word. You're gonna offend somebody by doing it, so you can't do that. So you're just gonna have to, uh, you're just gonna have to be very vague about it. Yeah. Which, whatever. Um, turned out to be just Stardust versus Kofi Kingston. Um. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you uh, talk about this. Um, I mean, Kofi's always entertaining. I'm not gonna lie, and uh, whatever. Uh, you know, so is Cody. I'm sorry, Stardust. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, Kofi Kofi won that match, which was another surprise. Yeah, but, I mean, they have to give them wins at least, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you got to push the new gimmick. So uh, they'll be losing in two weeks. Don't worry. Yep. So, what happened to the Matadores push? I thought they were uh, who? The Los Matadores. I'm trying to forget that they exist. Well, they were. Uh, actually, they remember they were getting a push like uh, last month. They were getting tag team title shots, and they were winning. <laughs> yeah. Look where they are now. They're back to main event. I think somebody figured out that it's just, just not a, just no, just no, yeah. <laughs> fucking no. So. I, I love the fact that it's called, you know, main event the show, and it's just, it's such a fucking non-main event show. There's not one main eventer on there, <laughs> right? You know, may as well call it mid card. Yeah, why do they do this, man? <laughs> just none of it makes any fucking sense. Mid, mid event. Be raw. Nothing is raw about it. Let's watch mid event. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch a main event show with no main eventers on there. Let's <laughs> watch raw. It's not fucking raw, man. It's as, it's as, this shit is as cooked as you can get. This is overcooked. Well done. Well done piece of shit. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Smackdown. No one is laying the Smackdown. 
<laughs> no, I haven't watched SmackDown in a while. So anyway, after that barn burner of a match, um, <laughs> Lillian Garcia comes out and introduces John Laurinaitis. Yes, Johnny Ace is back for another Slammy Award. Um, he comes out to uh, uh, what what award is this? Oh, the surprise return. Sorry, <laughs> uh, he comes out to do the surprise return award for the surprise return of the year. Uh, brings out the nominees. Voting is open. Uh, we come back and Warrior wins it. Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Uh, um, Was Sting and, in the category? No, because Sting wasn't a comeback. Sting was a surprise debut. Yeah. If they had put him in that for a comeback, they would have been crucified by the internet. True. So. They, they, they don't care, man. They don't. They see yeah. us uh, like non-existing. Hmm. Pretty much, but uh, Warrior wins. They uh, they do a nice little uh, quick little video thing for him. They play the uh, that last little uh, promo he gave, and uh, that's it. I don't want to. Oh, I I fucking love the Warrior, man. I I do too. Uh, okay. It's the man. I don't even want to. Shouldn't. Yeah. So then Seth Rollins is backstage. He's got uh, the Stooges with him, and Paul Heyman comes in and, of course, delivers his usual awesome promo to make the segment worth watching. Right. Yeah. Um. You know, just and of course, that's when we get the awesome Brock Lesnar. I'm sorry, Brock Lesnar. There you go, man. So after all that bullshit, we get Cena back there with Renee Young. Any, any anything on this, Shaheen? Cena with Renee Young? No, I had it on mute. Oh, well. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm surprised Cena's not banging uh, Renee Young. It seems like a chick he'd go after. Well, the rumor is that Ambrose is doing that. Is he really? Yeah. Good for him. A little more respect for Ambrose, huh? You think? Yeah. Do you do you think? <laughs> you think he like plays uh like his like CZW like tournament of death matches for her to you know like kind of like impress? Oh, I'm a fucking badass. Just took that fucking chainsaw shot to the head just to get a pussy wet a little bit. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's kind of weird, Sheen. <laughs> professional wrestling business, man. I'm pretty sure she likes weird shit. Maybe, of course. If you're in the true. fucking business and you're a woman, uh, I'm sure you've seen some weird things. Yeah, and I guess that's not too weird for for uh, late night on the Hot Tag Podcast. There you go, man. Yeah, like, so... We should start like a 1-800 number. <laughs> yeah. 1-800-HOT-TAG. Oh, 1 800 hot tag. Yeah. Hot. 1 900 hot tag. All right. We're going to lose listeners any minute. Now. <laughs> <laughs> but, I blame any of them for leaving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do we get after that? We got a little surprise after that little Cena thing. We got Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte, Ric Flair's daughter. That's right. One more time. Hey, my mom. <laughs> and uh, her and Natalia. And uh, this was not great. No. Oh, I skipped through this. I, I, I don't care about her. It really was not a great match. Um, Did she botch any spots? She didn't botch any spots, but like Natalia just kind of like sat there. And, I don't know. It was like Natalia was just sitting there waiting for her to do stuff. So I don't know. But Natalia won the match. Uh, Tyson, I'm sorry, I, not Tyson Kitt. Natty's husband um, goes to the corner and, of course, 
steals Natalia's celebration. Yeah. So I love it, man. I love Tyson Kidd. That's their new gimmick. I love it. It's it's a good gimmick, man. Yep. Uh, Santino comes out for the next award. We really picked a shitty show to do this Monday thing with these fucking awards, by the way. I, I like doing it Monday, man. This is good. Damn fucking Slammy Awards. Um, he's given the Slammy Award for the most uh, shocking moment of the year, or OMG moment of the year, which he called the OMG. The OMG moment. The OMG moment of the year. <laughs> I like that. Yep. Uh, let's I like see. Santino, man. Santino's, he, he used to be funny. I mean, I think they, you know, really became saturated after a while, but. Yeah. Uh, Brock Lesnar ending the Undertaker's streak is uh, who won that one, and Paul Heyman came out to accept the award, cuts a quick promo. Yeah. Hey, gold. Paul Heyman's out there. Gold. Yeah, it's, it's only right, man. Definitely the most surprising moment of the year. Yep. And then for, for a second I thought he got interrupted, and he wasn't. It was Bray coming out to do a promo in the ring, uh, talked about the, whatchamacallit, the chair that Ambrose broke, Plus, I, mean, I, I, I kind of liked that last year, man. I mean, uh, last week that uh, he broke the chair, and he actually, for the first time, really showed some kind of weakness and emotion. Yeah, yeah. They, they kind of told the story a little bit about the chair, and then in the middle of it, Ambrose comes out. Yep, with the ladder. In a, wait a minute. He came out in a smoking ambulance. Yeah. Like, like they just came in off the mystery machine. Well, I guess we got a Scooby Doo movie coming out soon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's, it's coming soon. <laughs> so he comes out in a smoking ambulance, and I'm literally sitting there going, "What the fuck is the ambulance smoking for?" So. You know, and uh, yeah, then he comes out, gets a little, gets the ladders, and uh, does a little damage to Wyatt. It was fun. It was not I, bad. I'm, I'm actually excited for TLC, man. I mean, it's not going to be the strongest card, but... Uh, the matches should be good. Yeah, I think it's actually going to be really good, because they have a ladder match, and they have a TLC match. So... And they have a TLC and S match. Really? So they have like three ladder matches, essentially. Tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. Which is that's that's really stupid, don't you? Don't you think that's really just the worst, you know, pay per view gimmick name? Yeah, pretty much, because it's already tables, ladders, and chairs. You would figure if the stairs get involved, you're not going to get disqualified. Yeah, it's just it's doesn't it's not even catchy. It doesn't sound good. TLCS like. No. I mean, TLC was fine. TLCS? Eh. TLC itself sounds still horrible because it's fucking tender, loving care. Sure. On fucking tables, ladders, and chairs, you son of a bitches. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you motherfuckers. So, yeah. You know, that came down to the usual. Uh, we go back. Seth Green's out there. Calls out Jerry Lawler. And, of course, Jerry is excited because he gets to do... The Diva of the Year Award. Puppies! Ex puppies! Puppies! I gotta get a clip of him doing that shit. <laughs> I'll get one. To, I'll get one tomorrow. Um, and of course, who wins? AJ. Yep. AJ Lee, because she is one sexy bitch. Do you think do you think Paige deserved it or no? Um I would say I guess you could make an argument for it since AJ was gone for a good part of the year. Right. Plus I mean you know Paige made a a, a great first, you know, impression cuz she came out and she uh she won the fucking title on the first night which Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, cuz it's like, you know, what else does she have to look forward to now? It's like <laughs> Yeah. So NXT title. She's won the the women's the divas title twice or three times. Yeah, she can quit now and right go she's, somewhere else. So yeah, she's done it all. So yeah. yeah, 
You've accomplished it all by uh, the age of 21. Yeah. <laughs> Leave. That's no big deal. Um, yeah. AJ Lee comes out. will barely even hug Terry Lawler, which made it more funny to me. Well, she doesn't like being touched, apparently. She treated him like an old man, like an old, creepy guy. I don't know why she would do that. Um, do you know what she does? She, she, doesn't, she doesn't let fans uh, take pictures with her. Yeah. She doesn't have contact with her. Yeah. That's kind of weird. That's kind of a dick move, isn't it? I don't know. She's got one fucking sexy body. If I put my hands anywhere near her, I'm not sure I could stop. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe it, is, it is a good idea for her. Uh, quite a good idea for a. It's been, and she's tiny, dude. If someone grabbed her, I don't know what she'd be able to do, really. Yeah. You know. I don't big, understand. I mean, since you're fascinated by her body, please explain this to me, because I don't get me wrong. She's she's cute and everything, but I I really think she's overrated, man. She just she doesn't really have a body. What what body are you seeing? I like that. Tight abs, rock hard kind of body look. I'm not, yeah, I'm not into like the muscular fucking, yeah, yeah, not for me. I like that. Like, I like Bree is, I mean, Nikki is hotter, but Bree is pretty hot too. You know, I'd prefer Nikki. She's thicker and. Guess yeah, I, w- I would honestly, I would probably pick up Bree over Nikki. See, that surprises me now because Bree's skinnier. Bree's got that CrossFit shit going. Right, but that, that's just because uh, I just know Nikki's personality now, and I think uh, I'd probably end up just like killing her. Yeah, there you go. That's understandable. Yeah, it's it's probably better for me to just steal uh, Daniel Bryan's wife. Ah, there you go. Although, I would like to bang uh, John Cena's wife. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe actually, let's go with Nikki. There you go. Nikki, you know, I'm going to impregnate your wife, you son of a bitch. Nikki's got them big old fake titties and the, the, that, that thick ass. Yeah. Yeah. There's something about her face, though. She looks a little bit different than uh, just a tad bit. There's something different about her. I don't know like, what it is. I, I like Bree's face more. Bree's skinnier. She has a skinnier face. I don't know if that's it, man. There's just something about her. I don't know. All right. Whatever. I don't know. Fucking, I can't believe you're even fucking arguing about divas with me. God damn it. Well, I never talk about them. You know. <laughs> you, know you got a point. I got you to talk. Yeah, you talk, talked about divas for more than... I did. You didn't have to play the cricket sound this time. For more than the cricket sound. I was just about to say, more than four seconds. <laughs> so, and I messed up before. This is where Cena is with Renee Young backstage. Um, well, thankfully, we already talked about it. Yeah, and he... Well, yeah, Cena talks about all this shit, fired up, get up, blah, 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 blah. And uh, then we go to an uh, Eric Rowan versus Luke Harper. Which pissed me off. Why are they giving this away, man? Make it a fucking pay-per-view match. And, I mean, I know that it's a built-in storyline, but... Dude, who gives a shit? It's Wyatt versus Wyatt for the first time. Put it on a fucking pay per view. Yeah, give us some backstory. Give us some right. building. Give us something. But uh, build it up. Build it up weekly. Build it up for a month. Put it on pay per view. Give them fifteen twenty minutes. Don't put it on fucking roll for five minutes for ten minutes. Yeah, no build up. Don't decide it. I don't know. No, I agree. I I I'm I was thinking the same thing. This match is just out of nowhere. For nothing. I mean, there's like, I, I like I said, I know that. I don't know that. I don't know the story why behind. Please explain this to me. Why are they few? Like, what made fucking uh, Eric Rowan turn to a baby face? Like, I just no. Well, we don't know any of that, and that's one of the problems. But you know, I mean, like I said, I I know this. There is sort of a built-in storyline that you could work with, but. How many people who just turned on WWE today know that? Right. Well, they don't. They don't, they don't mention anything. Really. No. No, they'll just kill you with fucking backstage segments and bullshit. But Twitter plugs and hey, yeah. WWE's number one trending on for you know fucking you know Slammy Awards and all this bullshit. Which is let's let's face the facts, man. I think they make up half of the fucking 
shit that they say because I really find it hard to believe that they're trending on Monday nights the whole fucking time when it's like, you know, like uh, Bo Dallas against fucking Wade Barrett. You know, oh, Bo Dallas against Wade Barrett trending on Twitter right now. Like, eh, I don't know, man. Cause I see on CNN half the world is burning down. I'm pretty sure that's fucking trending. I don't know. I don't know, WWE. Yeah, they make up half the shit they talk about, but whatever, dude. They can. MTV Awards are on tonight, but uh, no, WWE, Wade Barrett and Bo Dallas is the number one trend. There you go, man. It's got to be, you know? NFL football is on tonight, but no, WWE's trending number one. Trending. Yeah. <laughs> John Cena, the most followers, you know, as far as athletic people and athletes and shit. Oh, fuck out of here, man. First guy on Facebook with, you know, 10 million followers. <laughs> fuck, man. Maybe he can't fucking wrestle. I don't give a shit if he has 20 million followers. He fucking sucks. Sorry, I had to get that out. No, I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you did. My Come week, uh, <sighs> This is my week of therapy for uh, wrestling. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm pretty much selfish. I'm pretty much doing this just to, you know, this is get my anger out and my aggression out. This is a form of therapy. So I'm, I'm, I'm a selfish bastard, folks. I'm, Let it out, man. Let it out. Everything goes here on the Hot Tag Podcast. Late night. We're not scripted like the WWE. We don't, uh, we don't script our complaints. There you go, man. Um. Eric Rowan wins that match by DQ. Harper starts. They start fighting with the steps because him and because Rowan and Big Show have a stair match this week weekend. What, what is that? I've never seen a stairs match. I I don't I I I don't know. What, what are they gonna just have like a you know bring see bring bring fucking Vince Russo back at least he'll put it on a fucking pole. <laughs> you know. <laughs> on a pole, all right. Fighting. Stairs on a pole match, folks. There you go. WWE trending number one. Stairs on a pole match. Stairs on a pole trending right now. Yeah. Oh, God. They don't tell you everything else trending, just that they are. Yeah. They don't put, like, you know, John Cena sucks. Trending number one right now in America. Yeah. That would never trend. Oh, no. Well, no. no. No, he does charities. Exactly. You have to like him. What do you What do you mean? Why would that trend? I don't know. Then we uh, get Jimmy. So, oh, go ahead. Are you still ranting on Cena? No, no, no. I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, we'll save it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of time to do it. Uh, let's see, Jimmy Uso backstage with Naomi, they're happy, Naomi gets into the whole thing about last week with them, but she said she's already talked to Miz's agent, now she's going to Hollywood, who gives oh, a fuck? Shit. Yep. I, I give a fuck, man, oh shit. Oh snap, motherfucker, hey. she's going to Hollywood, and she's Jimmy said, yo, I'm going to Hollywood with you, because I don't trust that motherfucking Miz. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. You and think, then you think Miz is gonna be banging her? Is this where this is going? I don't know where this is going, but I'm kind of hoping it doesn't last long. Now, do you think they're gonna do something similar to like Kurt Angle and Booker T with the bestiality sex? Oh God, I hope not. That was terrible, man. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Unfortunately. That was hard to watch, man. That was really bad. Yeah, certain things I try to block out. That's one of them. Yeah, that was like, ah, jeez. Anyway, yeah, go on, please. Um, hold on. Body in the chat room said, "Wait, the Bellas have faces? I never noticed." I I didn't either. I noticed tonight. All we know, all we know, yeah, just fucking tits and. That's probably, all. Probably not not for the same reason as you guys. I I don't I didn't notice they had fades because I fast forward every time. So. Oh, 
All right, yeah, probably not for the same reason. Um, Adam Rose comes out with the Rosebuds. Oh yeah, that's yep, 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 yep. yep. He's gonna what? Wait, because yep. he's gonna announce the LOL moment of the year for the Slammy Awards. Yep, yep. This happened. Yep, and uh, winner was Ms. Dow, and the Ms. took full credit and walked away with the award. Is he going to come next week with like a, with like a fucking uh, gimmick award, like one of those little small ones? I would expect nothing less. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with like a miniature award, and they're going to do that next week. So that's, that's something to look forward to, folks. But uh, I think honestly, Miz Dow is probably one of the best best parts of Raw. So, yeah, thank God for Miz Dow. They should I, make it sure. We should we should make that happen. Thank God for Miz Dow. There you go. That's the next shirt. That's a, that t shirt, dude. I'm on, I'm on the money tonight, man. Great, you are, great man. shirt ideas. Thank God for Miz Dow. We got rest. We got a reckless wrestling. That's reckless wrestling. Reckless wrestling, man. That is fucking money right there. That is, and we could even. I'm, I'm gonna get that copywritten tomorrow, man. Don't don't try to fucking don't don't steal that, folks. Make sure I'll you put it. With the R. Make sure it's the R A S S L I N because double R. What was that? You tune out. You got a double R that with wrestling, not wrestling. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, R R double double. R, man. There you go. How ignorant would that be to come out with a wrestling promotion, spell it out with a R, it's just wrestling. <laughs> It fucking we worked. have to do this. We gotta make this happen. That shit would work great down here, man. Fucking Texas. That's <laughs> how they say that. You watch that wrestling stuff. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Reckless Wrestling tonight. Got AJ Styles. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> Reckless Wrestling. That's good. That'd be awesome, dude. I'd l I'd go. I'm there, man. I'm there. Man, that's money, man. I'm telling you. Reckless wrestling, man. That's good stuff. That's it, man. That's 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 the new fucking threat to WWE right there. There you go, man. I mean, how many promotions do you see it's like, you know, Florida wrestling promotion and fucking Pennsylvania wrestling alliance and you know, all this just typical generic names. Reckless wrestling, man. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's nothing, you know, it's perfect. I love it. There you go, man. You're welcome, uh, you're welcome world. That's right. <laughs> you're welcome world. There you go. So, let's see what happens next. Uh, in the ring, Rusev makes his way out with Lana. Lana has nice tits. Um, she said <laughs> something. I wasn't listening. I was staring at her tits. Is she uh, have, like, one set of... Instead of that suit, she only comes out with like the red and the and the blue every time. It's like the same same outfit. Wait, is she ever gonna what? I lost you. I said she always comes out with the same outfit. Does she only have like one set of clothes? Listen, as long as it's the one with the V cut, just don't complain and stop talking. Well, I, I wish it wasn't on. I wish it was off. Oh, I do too. But that one is fine because it gives you perfect sight into um, Lana's. Um, Anyway, right. uh, uh, Swagger comes. To, <laughs> Swagger interrupts, and uh, real quick, I, I have I have to mention this. Okay, these, go for it. These slammy statues that they have in the background, right? Have, yes. Did you notice them? They're naked. Well, the, yes, they are naked. But okay, first, ahead. why do they look like monkeys? And second of all, why are they kind of like bending down, like they want to take a shit? Like they're you know they're questioning themselves like should I take a shit right now or not? <laughs> Who built these fucking things, man? I mean, you couldn't come up with something better. I'm sure they're cheaply made. They're, they're probably made out of styrofoam. It was. It's probably um. Uh, Pat Patterson made them. Probably. I'm. Sh yeah. Oh man, that's not. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I'm sure he loved carving out that that dick part. There is a little bulge. It, it it does have some ballet bulge on it. it. There you go, man. It does have ballet bulge. I will agree. I uh, the two statues in the back look pretty bad too. 
Well, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, you're probably watching them right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they look uh, pretty bad. Um, someone someone I, should bring that Owen Hart gimmick back and just carry that fucking thing around all the time. <laughs> Who I did for a while? Carry two of them to the ring for a while. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. Carry all that gold. Yeah. Well, not, not gold, but, you know. Whatever. Plating. Yeah. Plating. So... Yeah, not bad. Good stuff, man. So uh, let's see. Where am I? Oh, uh, Swagger comes out. Rus uh, he tells Rusev, "You broke Zeb Coulter's leg. I'm gonna snap your ankle." <laughs> yeah. And uh, they start brawling, and it was a, it was actually a pretty good brawl. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they're trying to bring Swagger back and like make him look like a fucking tough guy when he was over like three months ago and. Then he became a jobber again, and now they realize they ran out of guys to feed to Rusev, so he's yeah. back. Let's revisit this, but um, Wait, why? Why are they revisiting this? Is he actually going to lose to Rusev again? I mean, he has to, right? I would think so. He has. Um, to. There's no way they're feeding Rusev to Swagger. So after this, Swagger is really going to be a jobber. Unless he happens to, I mean, he hasn't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know. I, I really don't want to guess. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. Because, I mean, he hasn't lost, so maybe Swagger gets his revenge and they give Rusev his first loss? Possibly? I hope not. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I hope not. But yeah. Yep, we'll see. So, uh, yeah, and then we come back from break, and we get uh, Ryback and the Usos versus Kane, Sandow, and The Miz. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. I mean, it was a good match. The Usos and everybody, they always put on a good match, but it was kind of, you know, whatever, same thing. The big blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Babyfaces win, Ryback and the Usos. Seth Green comes in to try to celebrate with Ryback, and Ryback looks at him. God damn, that fucking Seth Green is a short, short dude. Yeah, I mean, Ryback's kind of short, so just imagine that. No, Seth Green looks like looked like a midget beside him. Yeah. And uh, those throw him up on his shoulders. Yeah, Seth Green is probably like 5'1", five, 5'2". Five, oh, God, yeah. It, but they did a good um right after that they did a good little video on the uh, the first Slammy Awards in '86. It was pretty cool. I did like that. So, uh, Rob I, and else. I liked that a lot actually. I like seeing that old stuff. Yeah, definitely. I definitely like the old shit, man. Yep. Then we get. They just, uh, just stop doing Raw and just 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 play all the old stuff. Just save your money. Yeah. Just save your money. Just leave the network and leave us alone. Yeah. Just, yeah, just put all your money into the network and just stop doing live events. Just shut it down. Yeah. Oh, I, I missed something, by the way. What's that? Right before this this little match happened, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat came out. Yeah, I did. And announced it was up for match of the year. Fucking Ricky the Dragon, my all-time favorite. Um, really? And the all-time match of the year, he really is. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is probably my all-time favorite. Nice. Yeah, yeah, love that fucking guy. Was one of the best, man. Still probably is one of the best. Um, and uh, Team Cena versus Team Authority at Survivor Series is match of the year. Wow. Yeah, I would, I would definitely give it to that Extreme Rules match with uh, Evolution and Shield. It was definitely a nominee. Yeah, I think that was probably it was, it was up there. I think a, a, a another good match that wasn't mentioned was that Cesaro and Sheamus match from like two months ago. Yeah, dude, that was that was a brutal fucking match. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a damn good match. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Ziggler came out to accept the award. 
And then they get to uh, AJ versus Nikki, or... Yeah, AJ versus Nikki Bella. Yeah. Yeah, and that happened, so you can go ahead and click that. Yeah, uh, AJ wins. Rob Van Dam comes out to give the another award. Extreme moment of the year, man. Yeah. Who better to do that than Rob Van Dam? And yes, I'm killing time while I go to the next page. Yeah, and he, he looked high as always. Because he was, I'm sure. I'm sure. He's not wrestling right now, so... He can yeah. Play. Actually, Rob Van Dam is wrestling uh, AJ Styles coming up. That's pretty dope. Really? Yeah. PWS, Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Better watch his neck. Yeah, you better watch his fucking neck. I'm sure. <laughs> he's probably going to cancel. He's going to cancel now. Yeah. Probably. I'm actually probably going to go to that show. So. <clears throat> go, man. Definitely. So uh, let's see. Back from break, RBD reveals that the Chris Jericho jump off the cage uh, with a crossbody to Bray Wyatt wins the Slammy for Extreme Moment of the Year. And Fandango comes out with Rosa Mendes to accept the award. I don't know why. Would you it agree was... with that? What? Would you agree with that? That was that was the Extreme Moment of the Year. Um. With the nominees, probably. I mean, fuck, fuck the nominees, and I'm talking reality. Um, I mean, we had that Seth Rollins and and Ambrose spot. Yeah, where he came off the top of the yeah that 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 was in there too, and that probably was a more fitting to me. But um, and also don't forget that uh Seth Seth Rollins dive. From Extreme Rules uh, onto Evolution, too. They had that on there too. I yeah. couldn't, but uh, I guess they had fan. Do you tune out on me? You go playing. You, you tune out again, man. Oh, I said I guess they had. Son of a... What? I said you tuned out on me. I tuned what? I'm just joking. Don't you tuned say. Out. I heard you. I'm just joking. Uh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I guess they had Fandango plan to come out already, so uh, the winner is who the winner is. Um, why? Why did Fandango come out? I mean, what the? To remind us that he beat Fandango in his debut match at WrestleMania. And you know that pisses Jericho off, cause. I think Jericho's mentioned it on his podcast quite a few times that he he had no problem you know putting putting new guys over, but he never wants to go back to the WWE if they have nothing planned for him that's 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 worth his time. And uh, he actually made you know mention of uh, Fandango. So yeah, I can't blame him. Um, yeah, can't blame him at all. No, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, then we see Mick Foley dressed as Santa for another WWE shop commercial. Yeah. And uh, daughter, Noelle, who, I don't care, she's 18, she's hot. Yeah, she's actually on a wrestling podcast a lot. Hot. <laughs> Is out there helping him. So, uh, awesome. Don't, don't forget, uh, don't forget that, 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 uh, it's, I don't know if it's an action figure or a statue of Austin that was on, that was next to Mick Foley. Oh, those are those uh, little. Uh, they're like thirty inches high. Yeah, those those things are fucking awesome, man. But it's like three hundred bucks. Are they? They're not that much, are they? Yeah, it's three hundred. Oh, then that's a bigger one than I've seen at Toys R Us. The ones at Toys R Us are like fifty bucks. No, no, no. The the one they have up there is like a uh, collector's item. It's three hundred. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, it's in the same series as the Macho Man one. Do you remember that one? The first one they made. Yeah. Yeah, that that one is a uh, same size. That one was three hundred as well. Huh. I would love that Macho Man one, but I just I don't know, man. Three hundred is a lot to dish out for just a fucking, you know. That's that's a lot of cash to put out. Yeah, if it was if it was like even one fifty, I'd probably dish it out. But uh, three hundred is. I don't know. Yeah. 
But that Macho Man one, I, I need that in my life, man. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I need it. You need I it. My man cave. Must have. Must have it for my man cave. Must have for man cave. Yeah. All right, what happened next? We're almost done with this fucking show. Uh, let's see. After uh, Mick Foley and his hot daughter, we get uh, look back. Big Show knocking out John Cena. Renee's backstage with the Big Show. He didn't cry. I was hoping he would. Crying blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> he was crying like, he was a, like a pussy. There you go. Like I, a, it for you. I need it. Yep. And then uh, Booker T comes out, and he is doing Superstar of the Year. And you know who's going to win, man. Either John oh. or Roman Reigns, and we got Roman Reigns. Ro believe that. Roman motherfucking Reigns comes out. Um, Reigns comes yeah. out because, you know, John uh, McMahon uh, mentioned brass ring and he don't care if it's Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Triple H, The Rock, or Vince McMahon himself. He's stepping up and taking the top spot. And you can believe that. Believe that. That's right. I said it. Believe that. Believe that. That's what he said. I heard it. I was watching. You think he's actually going to step up? I don't think it matters if he steps up or not. That dude's going to have a rocket on his ass when he comes back. Yeah, of course it's not going to matter, but... Do you think he's going to step it up? Uh, they need to get him... A, 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 uh, I think if they want to step him up, he might need a manager. <laughs> yeah. The acting lessons are certainly not helping him, so... I... I guess I could be wrong. Who knows? We got uh, the so, motherfucking main event. What a main event we got coming up. This is your main event of the evening. That's right. John Cena vs. Big Show. First time. Oh, wait a minute. It's not their first time ever. No, but definitely, certainly the main event of the year, though. Oh. Um, <laughs> hold on, hold on one second. I am watching this in the background, and I just, I, I have to give a shout out to the to the fan that had a sign that says "I gave up." Fantastic! That's brilliant. Nice. That is amazing. I love it. Nice. For any slow people that didn't get it, you know, John Cena never give up. Yeah, I gave up. I get it. Well, I not get for it. You, for anybody else that's listening that didn't get it. Oh, so you're calling our listeners slow? Is that what you're doing? Listeners, any, any. Well, I guess they would be our listeners. Well, one or two of them, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm helping people out, man. Fuck you. There you go. You're helping people out. Breaking it down. There you go. I got you. Down, down, uh, down, down, uh, down. down. Sorry, I honestly, said DX. Uh, <laughs> You're a goof. <laughs> hey man, it's past it's past my bedtime, man. Way past. I gotta be up. I gotta be up at fucking early tomorrow too, man. Shit goes down the same. I gotta uh, stop. I don't know. You tune out. Yeah, uh, does I said I'll fucking go to bed early tomorrow night. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Main event. Back. Uh, come back from break. Out comes Big Show. Show tosses Cena around. Uh, Seth Rollins runs in with the yeah. I, I really. You already forgot about that. This guy <laughs> fucking <on>. reading. <laughs> During this match. I'm not going to lie. I picked up my phone and started playing Trials Frontier. 
It happened like two hours ago. <laughs> He's fucking reading the results. I honestly did not watch this match until the uh, until uh, Mercury and uh, Noble ran in, and the and it was a DQ. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly picked up my phone and started playing my game for. A, I had to get my bonus. Damn, who can blame you, man? It's Big Show and John Cena. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. I picked up my phone and started playing Trials Frontier. Can they just make this a retirement match for both guys? Just, oh, just, fuck it. Just leave. It's been a good run. Not necessarily in my opinion, but eh, had enough, man. Just leave, please. I am begging the both of you. Please just leave. Yeah, it, I, uh, I, oh. Whatever. I don't even know what to say. I'm so box man at a loss for wars. Um, I'm fine, man. that's that's rare. Yeah, C Nation, man. Go C Nation. Yeah, this match was um, Bad. I don't, cause I didn't see it. Like I said, I I didn't see it. I, I saw. I can, I can tell you, it's bad. Yeah, I saw Dolph run out. Like I said, um. Can they have a can they have a match without a like a clusterfuck ending without like the whole fucking roster coming out? It's no, Kane running that, out every time. Fucking yeah. you know, Seth Rollins running out. The fucking Authority running out. Yeah, we get the new formula. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The formula for WWE seems to be you know, you come in and take his finisher, and then he takes your finisher, and then you take his finisher, and then. Give him a fin. It's just one man after another, after another. Finisher, 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 finisher. Yeah. And yeah. then Rog the air, Rollins standing over the Rollins and the crew standing over Ziggler. Dolph took took a hell of a table bump though. Yes, he did. As all he's fucking awesome at bumping. Fuck man, he took this with his forearms, like the bone. On the forearms. Well, he better uh, he better relax, man. I mean, that guy. I'd well, hate to see him go like this for another, you know, ten, fifteen years. And well, how many times have we all said the same thing about Jeff Hardy? And look, he's still doing it. No, Jeff Hardy took a lot of drugs. Yeah, but I also thought even without with or without the drugs, I still thought by now he would be in so much pain. And I didn't think he'd be walking by now, Jeff Hardy. After some of the bumps we've seen him take, honestly, in his, I really thought by his mid thirties he would be done, done in a wheelchair. That that bump that he uh, did with uh, Bobby Lashley a couple months ago at TNA, you know, he did oh. the time bomb to the outside to the to the ringside stairs. That was yeah. fun, man. A fucking crazy. Yeah, he's still doing the crazy shit. But uh, yeah. And he yeah. said that uh, that night. I heard it on uh, JR's podcast. Was it JR's podcast? Yeah, well, good old JR Parker. <laughs> good old JR sausage. Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> sausage. <laughs> That's my JR. <laughs> That's my. That's my. I've never practiced doing JR. JR. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, this was a pretty fucking slow and just typical John Cena and Big Show type of match. As you said, yeah, this, it was yeah, the the it was pretty much the the usual WWE Cena Big Show match until everybody jumped in, and then it was the usual everybody jumping in to help out uh, Cena match. So, so there you have it, Raw. It happened, Raw. It happened. Is 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 next is next week the go home show for TLC? No, this was my friend. Really? Shaheen. <laughs> is this Sunday? Oh my god. Yes, that's amazing. Yes. What a great what a great go home show. They made the, the sl slammies. The fuck wouldn't you have the slammies next week? Oh my god, I was I thought you realized this. That's why I was like, "Where is the, where is the vengeance?" <laughs> that is bad, man. Why, why wouldn't they just make the slammies in like a week or two? 
build up for the fucking pay per view. I mean, half the show was the Slammies. I, I don't know, man. I guess, I guess I'm looking forward to TLC. I I don't really remember what's happening on the show, but yeah, it'll probably be good. I really thought you realized this. This was the go home show. Matter of fact, here, I, had, I uh, put it up for people to post a little bit of a uh, of uh, feedback tonight. I only got a few, but I posted it right before I left the house, so it was late. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Fucking hot garbage. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I read that wrong. Fucking hot garbage, son. An awful three-hour award show for the most meaningless shit followed by a 20-minute raw at the end. <laughs> yep. That pretty much sums it all up. Okay, the next one. That was the go-home raw for the pay-per-view. Boo on you, WWE. That was Juju B. Uh, the first one was for uh, Renee Norin. Uh, Carl Tilly re- removed Mizdow and the Tessa Blanchard sighting. I guess uh, he saw uh, Tully's daughter, and it was a waste of three hours. So, um, I guess they're. I guess Raw's hopefully going to start getting better. At, uh, I guess in a week or two, because you know Royal Rumble is coming up. Right. Yeah, January Rumble. Hopefully, it'll start getting better because uh, I purchased tickets and I'm hoping it's a good show. Do you want to do some? Do you want to do predictions for? Sure. I I don't. Dude, I'm up now, so I don't give a fuck. Well, if you want to pull it up, we can do this, and then I I and then I I probably need to go after we do this. All right. Well, we got uh. I'll just go off top now. We got Dolph Ziggler and Luke Harper in a ladder match. Um, I'm guessing Dolph Ziggler is gonna take his title back. Are Are one of us gonna write this down? No, we can just we have the audio. Oh yeah, we can always. I can go back. Um, Dolph Ziggler and Luke Luke Harper in a what? In a ladder match. A ladder match. I I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Um. Dolph and Harper in a ladder match. Harper. Probably be up, if if not the best match of the night, second best match of the night. I can see Harper retaining the title. I don't know, man. Ziggler's on a he's on a winning streak. Exactly. So that means he's losing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. WWE. Yep. Yeah. 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 He's he's had his push, and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he 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 won a slammy tonight. He's probably not going over Sunday. No, probably not. <laughs> Let's judge it by that. <laughs> well, we got uh Eric Rowan and Big Show in a stairs match, which is gonna be great. Um, guessing Eric Rowan. I'm guessing Eric Rowan. He he he. It's time to start. I mean, if not, when is it time to start pushing some of these young guys coming up? You know, I mean, I hope, I hope, let me put it this way. I hope Rowan wins that match. Right. He should. In, in, in building a character theory, he should win this match. I'll put it that way. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. We got the Usos against Mizdow and Miz. I'm guessing Mizdow and Miz. Yeah, retaining. Or, I don't know. They're slowly teasing this Miz Mizdow cut, which I think is going to be a Mania match. But, um. Yeah. I think they're looking to give Damien his, uh, Mania moment with this match. Um. We got, uh. So, yeah, I'll go with, yeah, who, yeah. They'll keep the titles. Go ahead. Ryback against Kane in a chairs match. I'm guessing Ryback. I so do not give a fuck about this match. Exactly. Uh, as much as I like Ryback, I do not give a fuck. But if I had a guess, Kane. Kane? Yeah. I don't know why. I just. I hope not, man. Oh, I hope not too. But 
I, I oh, can... No way, dude. There's no no fucking way. And then again, they did have Ryback eliminated second. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still going with Ryback. Dude, I'm on beer number seven, and I'm saying Kane. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the alcohol talking. Uh... I almost brought my bottle of Schlager I had, but I decided not to. That's probably good. Yeah, I got to drive back. I got a bag of pretzels in the car. I'll eat. I'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Diva's match. Nikki Bella and AJ. Ooh. Uh, I really, who gives, I don't give a fuck. Oh, come on, guess. Nikki. I say Nikki. Uh, come on, Nikki. <laughs> That's Sounds good. Nikki has the thicker ass. Let's go for Nikki. All right, then, Nikki. Uh, yeah. uh, I love how we're judging these matches. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. This is like a kid picking dog. Tuned out. Braces. <laughs> yeah, one more time, you tune out. Don't worry about it. Next match. All right. The New Day against Gold and Stardust. I'm going to say uh, The New Day. On a pay-per-view, The New Day? I get... Man, they're debuting on a pay-per-view. If they're debuting on a pay-per-view, they have to win, right? Yeah, they'll... Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, Bray Wyatt... And Dean Ambrose in a TLC match. This one's going to be a tough one. This one is going to be a tough one. This may... The, the, if if the first match you mentioned, Ziggler and Harper, isn't going to be match of the night, this could be. Right. Um, man, you're right. This is kind of a tough one. I'm not sure what they're going to do here. I would hope they're going to put Bray over. I was hoping they're going to put Ambrose over. I'm going to say Bray, just because Ambrose, I feel like, can take a loss. Right now, Bray has been on a fucking losing streak. Ah. All right, hold on. You locked, up on just be, you locked up on just because Ambrose. Well, just because Ambrose, can, he can afford a loss. Just because, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of been pushed. I mean, Bray Wyatt, he's, he's pushed, and then he loses on every pay-per-view. So I hope they give him a win eventually. I mean... Wait a minute. Who won the last match between those two? Um, I don't know. It was a DQ, wasn't it? It was a DQ. You're right. It was the hologram. Thank yeah. you for reminding me. Well, no, the hologram was just Bray Wyatt coming back, and they had a they had a match at Survivor Series. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, it was a DQ. You're hundred percent right. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh Bray. I'm going to say Ambrose because I kind of want him to win this. Yeah, I, this one's a tough one, man. I'm, I really don't know. Well, then we're split. It's perfect. Yeah. Um, Seth Rollins and John Cena. God damn. Yeah, I on this card. What was that? How many matches are on this fucking card? A lot. And I think, I'm guessing they're going to add Rusev and Swagger too. I'm guessing the same thing. I still got my beer to finish. There you go. Um... John Cena and Seth Rollins. I don't want to say it, but I'm, I guess John Cena. I don't fucking know, man. I, th I honestly, the way they're pushing Rollins right now, think it would be stupid to put Cena over. If they put Cena over, it better be by a DQ. Yeah. Uh, I, could see, you. Uh, I could definitely see Rollins winning this by a DQ, or Rollins causing a DQ. Is, is this just a straight match? Um, No, it's a TLC match, I think. Oh. Is it? I don't know. Is it? Are you looking at the... Oh, tables match. It's a tables match. Tables match. Yeah, so John Cena can lose. I see Cena losing this match. I really see... All right. I'm going to go with Rollins, yeah. I see I see Rollins winning. Then he, I don't know, man. Uh, this... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping Rollins, but... It wouldn't surprise me, sir, if he'd go with, with Cena, as usual. When Cena's in a match, honestly, you can't be surprised if he wins. Right. You can't be. And you can really never explain it, but you can't be surprised either. Yeah. 
So there's our predictions. And uh, if Swagger and Rusev have a match, I'm definitely going with Rusev. Yeah, I would think they would put those two in, or they're just going to save it for the Rumble. Yeah, well, I hope not. Jesus, don't. Just just make this match happen. I would make this match happen now. I, I don't want to see this at the Rumble. Yeah, I could care. I I don't really care to see this at the Rumble either. I no. Uh, yeah, no. No, no. There you have it. There you have it. What else? Let me see here. I gotta finish my beer. All right. <laughs> so, what else do we got? We got a uh, Heath Slater. He apparently, has a warrant after his arrest. Oh, that's right. Good, 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 good mentioning. I forgot about that. Yeah. He's but... saying this is completely BS, and this this is an old story actually being rebrought up again because I remember reading about this a while ago. Um, apparently, he has like complete back up to where he was, and this never happened. Unlike um, <clears throat> Bill Cosby. Um, oh, fuck Bill Cosby, man. <laughs> um, I don't know. I I I hope it's not true, and I hope it doesn't. Uh, I mean, not that he's got this big push going, but I hope it don't mess with his career. Cause I, I I like Heath Slater, and I think the kid. I I think he could be something better than they're doing with him right now. Why don't you go ahead and tell the tell the folks. Uh, enlighten us and let us know what the situation is and what the accusation is actually um i i guess he was groping a girl i guess that's that, that's pretty much the gist of it it was uh groping a girl basically in a uh in a hotel i think right so i i certainly hope it's not true man uh then again you know the media blows shit out of proportion and i also heard something else that he missed like a court date and that's why this is brought back up, and people, people think it's something new, and I, I don't know. That's what I heard. That definitely could be. Yeah, so he, I, I'm thinking that's what it is. He missed a court date, um, and yeah, that's why this is brought back up, and people are running with it, and you know the dirt sheets are loving this type of shit. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, Porch and uh, you know PW Insider and F4W and all those sites, man, they all got boners on right now. Oh yeah, big fat raging hard ons. Well, I, I, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's gonna be fat or big. <laughs> <laughs> You're writing wrestling newsletters, most likely. You probably have tidy whities on with a little pecker. <laughs> Three oh. muzzles. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shit like that. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I I I, I hope it it all comes out and he's got evidence that it's not true and these dude these are just some crazy bitches uh, or one crazy crazy chick. So yeah. So I don't know. Like I said, I I I, I do actually like Heath Slater. I think uh, as as much as I made fun of Three MB, I think Heath Slater might have something. That's probably why he's the only one left out of that group. Heath Slater. Yeah. I don't know, man. They, they need jobbers, so. Good for him. I guess. Yeah. And they need, well, I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's going to be a jobber, dude. There's no way that he's getting oh, yeah. I honestly think he's another guy. Like, I think the same thing of uh, Tyson Kidd. He's another guy you could probably put in a mask and put out in the fucking ring, man. I don't know. Everybody knows him, though. His, his tattoos would stand out, and he's kind of got that orange orange glow to him. Yeah, you know what? I could see him as a like real evil heel. I don't know why. But I could see Heath Slater as a very evil heel. Maybe just a red hair. I don't know. I can see uh Heath Slater in like aces and eights. Oh Jesus. <laughs> don't do that to the man. I can see him in the leather vest. Oh god, yeah. I guess three MB is kinda it's kind of, oh God, I never made that connection. Yeah, kind of aces and eights ish, aren't they? They were. Uh, some, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't say aces and eights, but 
I can just see him being in there. Ooh, Chris Jericho back next week, people. Great. Are people really excited for Chris Jericho still? I'm sure somebody is. Um, oh, yeah, it looks like Tully's, uh, Tully Blanchard's daughter was a rosebud tonight. Really? So that's uh, that, that was what uh, Carl meant by... Uh, Carl is uh, Chef Carl. Uh, meant by what he said. There we go. Now we know. There you go. Uh, did you know that uh, CM Punk got in a, in a fight with uh, Teddy Hart? Teddy Hart, another guy. Go ahead, though, with that fight, and then we'll get into that story. I don't, I don't know too much about... Uh, oh, that's what I was asking you. Well, Do you know much about the story? Let me pull that one up, and you can go ahead and talk about the Punk story. Yeah, well, Teddy Hart and, and, and CM Punk apparently got in a fist fight. I'm guessing it's around the TNA days when Punk was in TNA. Because uh, mm -hmm. I, really, I don't really recall another time when they were on the same roster. But uh, apparently Teddy Hart kind of kicked his ass. And uh, I heard it on the MLW podcast. Um, Disco Inferno was actually doing a show. And uh, he called Teddy Hart, and they were talking about CM Punk and how he got in a fist fight with him and all that stuff. So I never knew about that. Huh. Did you ever hear of uh, that altercation? I've never even heard about it until you just mentioned it. Where is that? Yeah, so apparently Teddy Hart was out there uh, kicking some ass. Yeah, and somewhere on our website that story is... What, the uh, CM Punk and Teddy Hart? No, the... Uh... The Teddy Hart story about that he's got like, I mean, he's got girls basically saying that he that like rape. Teddy Hart. Yeah, hold on. I didn't know that. That's well, hold, good. I I don't want to misquote anybody, so. Well, did you know, Teddy Hart actually he just started wrestling again. Yeah. Hold on one minute. I'm getting to it. I mean, this this show was uh from a couple of days ago. They didn't really mention anything with any. Uh... They might have had the interview in the can. Who knows? But hold on a minute, I'm finding it. I'm scrolling through, man. I'm scrolling through. Yeah, but Teddy Hart he uh recently wrestled again in in uh, Jersey All Pro Wrestling, and uh, he had a match against uh I believe it was Charlie Haas and and Shelton Benjamin. And uh, Kurt Angle was actually at that show. Here we go. That's good stuff. Yeah. Indie indie wrestling talk for you. There you go. All right, hold on one second here. It's, it's loading right now. I've got it. I'm just loading it up. This guy's lying to us, folks. No, I swear to God. It's yeah. loading. I'm on. Bullshit. I'm on, Toronto. I'm on the torontosun.com right now. Watch you. Let me read this Fuck. real quick. Fuck you! <laughs> I love the Iron Sheik, man. You, you gotta get that. You gotta get a sound bite of the Fuck you. I probably do need to. You're right. That's a man. You need one of those, man. I need one. I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you up to that. I'm not gonna do the show next week unless you get the sound bite of Fuck you. <laughs> Let's see. Specific charges involve two women ages 24 and 40 and include a single count of each sexual assault and unlawful confinement and three charges of assault. You said 16 to 40? Women at age 24 to 40. Oh, two thought... women. Yeah. Age 24 and 40 and include a single count even each of sexual assault and unlawful confinement and three charges of assault. Not looking good, man. When is this from? This is in Canada, where the charges are stemming from. Um, when is it from? What time period? This year. This is from December 4th. This article is from December 4th, 2014. Oh, that's not good. No. Um... I'm sorry. This guy can't can't just fucking keep himself clean. No. It's no. Made, just made his comeback like a week ago, and now this is already happening. 
Yeah. Reading, I'm just reading here, man. Yeah, this kid's pretty messed up, man. I mean, you know, Owen was his uncle, and well, is he? How was he related to the Hearts? Because from my understanding, he's not technically like a like a real heart. Owen's his uncle. Well, who was his dad? Is is like his actual uncle? Uh, I don't, I don't know. think Brett his uncle, but I don't think Brett is his uncle. No, I know Owen's his uncle. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. so. Huh. Got anything huh. else you want to talk about? No. No. Why can I hear me? Why can I hear me? No. Hold on. Are you there? Hold can on. You tune out? I'm here, but I can hear I'm here, but I can hear well, fuck it. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. It's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this guy's doing, man. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. All right. All right. Because I can hear because my... Because I can hear my... In the background. In the background. Yeah. I don't can, know. Man. Shit's can, going crazy here. That's a sign for us to get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen... Once again, this was a Monday night edition. Well, technically, it was it was oh, uh, it's, it's, it's still Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah, it was the Monday. It was the Monday. Yeah, Boxman is tuning out on me. I don't know what's going on on his side of things. I'm here. I'm here. You're still there. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Well, I can't hear you. I can hear you now. But I can hear myself. I can hear in the myself. Back. In the back. Yeah, I don't know why. All right, well, give right, we'll it we'll no, no. Yeah, join us on Twitter. We're on Twitter on THT Podcast. We're on Facebook.com slash groups slash THT Podcast, hottagpodcast.weebly.com. If you want to send us any questions, anything, you can join us on that on that uh, mm-hmm. Facebook, or you can send it to THT Podcast at gmail.com. We are also on YouTube. Obviously, if you're joining us right now, you know that. Turnbuckle Corner, and you can join us on iTunes under THT. Definitely go ahead and subscribe on iTunes. Subscribe on, on YouTube. Leave a goddamn comment. Press that like button. Leave a goddamn review. Do something. Thank you very much for listening, and please go ahead and share this. I am Shaheen. I forgot. To, we forgot to even mention who the fuck we are. But uh, god damn it, this is what you get for a midnight edition. You know, eh, it is what it is. There you go. We are, there you go. We're about to be out of here. So, ladies and gentlemen, join us once again next week. I don't know if we're going to do a Monday, Tuesday. We'll figure something out. We'll let you know. I like doing a Monday. I don't know about him, but we're out of here. Boxman, anything you want to say? Nah, I'm good. Nah, man. I'm good, man. I have no I have no right now. Right now. All right. Well, we will see you guys next week. Later. 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 Thank you.